Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So let's recall what we did last time. So far we have discussed uh, for a given planar linear system. We have discussed if uh, the eigenvalues lambda 1, lambda 2 of A uh, are such that such that lambda 1 is less than 0 and lambda 2 is greater than 0. In other words, one of the eigenvalues is greater than 0 and other is less than 0. In particular, we had uh, considered this matrix uh, 0 lambda 2 and we had seen that for such a case when one of the eigenvalues is negative and other is positive, then origin is saddle. Origin is saddle and unstable equilibrium point but we had also seen that if lambda 1 and lambda 2 are both less than 0 uh, within particular we had considered the same matrix lambda 1 0 lambda 2 and uh, in this case we had seen that when both of the eigenvalues are negative then the origin is sync origin is sync uh, that is stable in other words stable equilibrium point and uh, we had seen that in this case all the trajectories will approach to uh, origin uh, as time goes to infinity uh, one more thing we had also seen that uh, uh, we consider lambda 2 to be greater than lambda 1 and uh, for this we had v1 and for this we had v2 as eigenvectors and we had also seen that uh, the trajectories were approaching to origin along tangentially along this direction of v2 uh, that was corresponding to the greater eigenvalue negative greater i mean both of these are negative but the greater was lambda 2 today we will be considering one more example of this sink and then we will be moving to another category uh, of uh, eigenvalues so let's now consider another example I'll consider this example. Uh, here my A is minus 10 and uh, 7, minus 6 and 3. If I consider this matrix, then my system is going to be x prime to be minus 10x plus 7y. And my y prime is going to be minus 6x plus 3y. And uh, if I solve for the eigenvalues, eigenvalues of A, eigenvalues of A, then all I need to do is I have to calculate determinant of A minus, uh, let's say, lambda times I to be zero, and that implies that I need to calculate the determinant of this matrix. Uh, which is minus 10 minus lambda 7 and then minus 6 mi and then 3 minus lambda this has to be 0 and uh, we all know from elementary operations of this you know 2 by 2 matrix determinant uh, we can calculate this so this is 10 plus lambda times 3 minus lambda and this is uh, 42 to be equal to 0 and then 30 and uh, minus 10 lambda and then plus 3 lambda and I have lambda squared uh, minus lambda squared plus 42 to be equal to 0 or I can write this as so this is going to be minus 30 and uh, so this is going to be plus 7 lambda and then i have lambda square plus 42 so this is plus lambda square plus 42 equal to 0 in other words it is nothing but lambda square plus 7 lambda plus 12 to be 0 so the characteristic uh, equation is lambda square plus 7 lambda plus 12 is 0 and i can uh, figure out that lambda 1 is going to be in this case 
minus 4 and lambda 2 is going to be minus 3. So you can uh, verify that these two are indeed the eigenvalues of matrix A. Now uh, we can realize that these eigenvalues are both negative. This one is also negative and this one is also negative. So the behavior that uh, uh, we expect for this system should be sync. Uh, but we need to have directions of, along which the trajectories will approach to 0, 0. Because both the lambdas are negative, so the behavior is going to be the sync. I mean, the origin is going to be the sync. Or you can say that the origin is going to be a uh, stable equilibrium point. Or you can say that the origin will be the point where all the trajectories will be approaching as RT will tend to infinity. So, what are the directions? So, for those, we need to calculate eigenvectors. Eigenvectors. So, for eigenvectors, we need to solve A minus lambda I operating on to some vector x to be zero vector and for lambda let's say lambda 2 to be minus 3 we want to calculate eigenvector so my a was minus 10 7 minus 6 3 and minus lambda is 3 so i is 0 1 and this is going to be 0 0 or uh, I can uh, so it will operate on x y some vector this one and uh, then I get so this is going to be minus 7 this is going to be 7 and this is going to be uh, minus 6 this is going to be 6 operating on to x y which has to be 0 0 in other words so you have minus 7 x plus 7y to be 0 and from here you have minus 6x plus 6y to be 0. In other words from both of these you have y to be x or uh, you can say that the eigenvector v, v2 is 1 1. So this is my v2 which is 1 1. Now we need to calculate v1 also. So lambda 1 is minus 4 and hence for v1 I need to solve a minus uh, lambda i times some arbitrary vector x to be 0. So this will give me minus 10, 7, minus 6, 3, minus minus plus 4, 1, 0, 0, 1. All of this thing operating on to xy to be 0, 0. So this will give me minus 10 plus. So this is minus 6 and this is going to be 7 and this is going to be minus 6 and this is going to be 7. All of this thing is operating on to x, y and is giving me 0, 0. And this is giving me minus 6x plus 7y to be 0. In other words, minus 6x to be minus 7y. R so from here if you substitute x to be 7 then your y is going to be 6 so like the eigenvector v1 is going to be 7 comma 6 so what we had so far we had a system x bar to be ax with the eigenvalues of a to be lambda 1 uh, which was uh, minus 4 and v1 which was 7 comma 6 and then we had lambda 2 which is minus 3 and v2 was 1 1 so from here we expect that the trajectories should because this is a greater eigenvalue so we expect that trajectories should approach to 0 0 along this direction so let's first draw these so this is my x-axis sorry y axis and this is my x-axis and then uh, let's say this is my one one direction so this is my one one vector direction and other is going to be seven comma six so this is one this is two maybe three 
four, five, and maybe six over here. So I need to stretch it. So six, and then maybe this is my seven. So like, you need to be careful of these scalings. I know I'm not okay. So like, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven, and then maybe one, then two, three. Okay. So if I if I take this two and then three four, okay. So we need to draw this again because we are not spacing well. So let me draw again. So we had x prime to be a x with lambda one to be uh, minus four, v one to be one one, and lambda two to be sorry seven six and lambda 2 to be minus 3 with 1 1 as our v2 now let's let's draw these directions v1 and v2 okay so if i say this is my 1 this is 1 this is 1 then this is going to be the direction 1 1 let's say this is 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this is one, two, three, four, five, and maybe this is six. So what we expect is something over here, some vector over here. So in other words, I'm expecting something like this, something like this. This is the direction of uh, V1, which is going like this. And indeed, uh, this is the direction of one, which is going to. This is the direction of v two, which should go from origin to this way. This has to pass through origin. Uh, forgive me for my crazy drawing. Okay, now uh, we have, as we have already seen, that the trajectories should approach to origin along. Uh, v2 so okay so if we if we talk about this particular part uh, this is v2 and then here it's v1 this v1 and this is v2 so if any trajectory is starting over here it has to go to zero but tangentially along v2 so it um, should have behavior like this if there is any other trajectory then it should also behave like this let's change this pen to see them a bit more clear okay so let's use this okay so in this way the trajectories will be moving towards origin tangentially along the v2 something like this and what about this part over here and this part okay so this is my v2 and this is my v1 so any trajectory is starting over here has to origin but tangentially along v2 okay something like this something like this okay so sorry sorry like this and this way what is happening over here and this way if any trajectory is moving then it has to approach to this like okay in this case like this something like this so this way this way so we can also see these uh, on uh, phase portrait plotter I can I uh, so this will be the rough sketch of the plot that's really rough sketch uh, because I'm not uh, good at trying so we need to consult to face portrait plotter in the next video I'm going to show you 
so you can uh, draw this using this phase portrait plotter